Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about two problems from lead code. The problem name is H index 1 and H index 2. So let's start. The first problem is H index 1. So the problem statement goes like this, that you're given an array of integers citation, where citations of IE is the number of citations a researcher received for the IETH paper. So as you can see for every paper, how many times the IETH paper uh, the citation is, you have been referred here. So citation in simple terms means that how many times every paper is referred okay in different papers okay so what you can see is that the researchers h index you have to find out uh with the given uh different research papers the particular researcher has so for a particular researcher find out their h index now what is the h index of a researcher so uh, according to the definition of wikipedia as you can see the h index is defined as the maximum value of h such that the given researcher has published at least h papers that have been cited at least h times so you have to find out the h index such that researcher has published at least h papers and it has been cited at least h times so let's take an example for understanding more like more clearly as you can see for this the researcher has published these papers now you have to find out what is the h index for this particular researcher now the output is three okay so let us understand from the output as well the output means that they are different papers but since the researcher has three paper with at least three citations so as you can see researcher has three papers which has at least three citations so you have to find out what is the value of h such that that number of paper should also exist and for every of those papers it should be at least cited that number of times as well meaning at least this number of times okay that is the overall problem statement now you can pause out and try to solve this particular problem of your own as well but what you can see here is that for every uh let's say for every paper you just have to know that whether uh we have a particular h index or not because you can go only go higher because you have to find out the maximum h index so for that why not just sort the papers out okay because uh you can have the index h index of one two three depending on what is the time every paper is cited okay so uh for that it is simply as you can see you have to just sort out the whole uh, array so let us try to sort out the whole array and try to see what we can conclude out of that let us see that if we have this array and we sort this out it will become zero one uh three uh, five and six okay now what you can see is that uh because we have to do this in a reverse order then that will be much better to understand because you have to find out uh sightedness as you can see uh, what is the maximum paper that is actually uh, uh, like following this particular rule? So what you can do is let's say sort it in a reverse order. If you just do it like this, then it is much better. What you can see is that if I have h equal to one, which means that I have at least one paper that uh, that that has been used and cited at least one time. Okay. If I take this paper. Then that is fine because i have taken this paper let's say that i just have this paper and it has been like uh, cited in different research papers as well and it has been done six times and i just want one time so that is fine so h equal to one is okay i have like h equal to okay h equal to one i'm okay with if i take h equal to two which means that i should have at least two paper and both of them should have a value of greater than equal to two that is also fine now if i go to h equal to three I should have at least three paper and both of them has like all of them has a value of at least greater than or equal to three that is also fine so what you can see is because it is in a decreasing order all the papers before that will be obviously greater or equal to three so i just don't need to check out this i just need to check out this particular paper that whether this paper is greater than or equal to the index i am on okay so if i just mark this as index one two three four five so if whether the is number is greater than or equal to this number then it is fine if this fails at any point then whatever is the last value that is correct we just print out that that is the particular simple solution for this particular problem so let us move on to code part now so what we have done is that we have first sorted them in a decreasing order then we have iterated our whole the whole uh, as you can see array from left to right and what you can see is that if this particular condition is met that if the citation of i is greater than or equal to i plus one because i am doing it for i index as uh, zero index but i have to make it from one so i i plus one if it is fine then return we just continue out because that is fine else if it is broke like if it break then the answer will be i because uh, it is from i index so i will be the answer and if all the papers are uh, under this given condition then the answer is n because all the papers are following this conditions on the this end 
okay because if we break out any at any point whatever is the what whatever is the maximum h index that we have found out for the researcher we just print out that or else the answer will be n okay simple solution nothing much computed here as well so the overall time complexity for this particular problem is o of as you can see n log n for sorting this whole array out and then just doing a for loop that is o of n so it will be o of n log n that is the whole problem statement and the whole solution for that now if you move on to the next h index 2 what you can see is that the problem statement is still the same but now you're given the same citation paper in a increasing order that is already sorted so now you don't have to need the now you don't have to actually sort the whole paper out okay but now you have to find out the same h index but in logarithmic time okay in that previous solution we have done it in o of n but now can we do it in logarithmic time and that is also fine why because if you have to do something in log time and it is sorted it is very simple and very intuitive that you have to do binary search over this now how we can do binary search what we have learned in the previous solution we just have to use the same logic here as well let us take this as a sorted now in the previous solution or not, not the previous solution the, pre the solution is same uh, we will be using the same like the logic overall but the previous problem we have sorted that in a decreasing order but here it is an increasing order if we try to reverse the whole array then it will be taking o of n to easily reverse the whole array out and it will like uh, like uh, you can say uh, like uh, cause a problem to our tank complexity because we want a tank complexity of o of log n so it is better to like write down your own custom binary search instead of using the a pre implement binary search but for that you have to like sort it in a decreasing order and that will be bad so just directly write your sorting algorithm or not sorting algorithm like your binary search algorithm that's what we have done here so let us try to understand what we'll be doing here so what you can see is that like if we take this whole array what we eventually have to find out is that let's say for binary search we have a left pointer here right pointer here okay now if we go to the middle what we just have to find out like because it is an increasing like it is sorted then we just have to find out that what i've told you like whether i have at least so because I'm, I'm on this position i know how many papers are there that is i have taken three paper so all the three paper should be greater than or equal to three on the right hand side that i just want if all the paper because if let's say i have left and right i go to mid and I directly know that the, that if I'm on mid, how many elements are there on the right hand side of mid, including mid. So I have three papers. So obviously, what I've told you, I just have to ensure that all the three paper, if if three is the h index for this particular state, that is, if I just take the middle element, for this to be valid, I just have to ensure that all the elements on the right hand side should be greater than or equal to three. Okay, that is greater than or equal to the index I am on, because then only all the elements on the greater than, greater than uh, on the right hand side are greater than that so h index is correct for that and obviously as you can see that because it is sorted so if this is greater than or equal to this index then all the other right hand side will also be satisfying that so you just have to ensure that if uh, the index i am on let's say uh, like how many elements are on the right hand side of it so if the total size is let's say n and i am on mid so n minus mid will be total elements on the right hand side so that will be number of papers. So if this value is greater than or equal to this value, then this is fine, which means that I can thrive or look for more bigger H index. So for that, I have to go on the right hand side. So I will make my R go on the right hand side. That is R minus one. But if this condition doesn't satisfy, then we go make my L go on the right, like on the right hand side. Oh, not sorry. If this is fine, then we make our right go on the left hand side. But if it is bad, then I will make my left go on the right hand side. And that's the whole thing that you have to just do by research over that. Pretty much simple. Let us move on to the code part now. So what we have done here is that uh, we have taken this two pointers L and R. Okay, that is the left and right pointed towards the first and the last index. This is the answer. Okay, that we have to store that. And this is the number of citations. Okay, then we'll do a binary search over it as you can see. Then we have to first find out the middle one, and then we have to find out how many elements are there on the right hand side of the middle one, including that. So uh, n minus one. Then if we just check that. <clears throat> sorry if this condition is uh, satisfying that whether this particular h index that is this index amount of h index is valid for that if the citation of mid is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to the index i am on then that is perfectly fine so i will make my right mid minus one and because this answer is correct because we have found out so i will make my answer equal to index 
and make my right equal to mid minus one so that it is moving towards the left hand side so that i can increase my h index more i can just check that if that is bad then i will move my left equal to mid plus one that is this is already bad h index let's try to find out a smaller h index that is valid okay and try to do that and in the end because we are updating our answer here when we are finding out a correct answer so we'll be updating and printing out the final answer that we have okay this is one of the way for doing binary search i had a complete list of wow and how to proceed for different binary search problems how you can find out whether the problem can be solved using binary search or not so do check out that complete playlist uh, in my channel that will be very helpful to understand how we can write down this complete binary search and how we can iterate over and find out different solutions so that's that's a complete logic in the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box on this particular problem and i will see you in the next one day coding and bye